Hi! Welcome to a ramble video. Today we are discussing the Inquisitor's armor set and the Nightmare. This has been on my mind for a while now, and I've just sort of hesitated actually putting this video together, so I've finally got my thoughts together in a notepad and would love to hear what you all think about these potential changes in the comments down below. The whole point of this is to make the Nightmare a more desirable boss to do as right now, and even with the current proposed changes, well, the sentiment I'm hearing is that people are not that much more excited about it. So we're gonna begin with discussing the Inquisitor's armor set. The current change that we have suggested and is going forward is that each Inquisitor's armor piece will provide a 2.5% bonus to accuracy and damage when using the Inquisitor's Mace. This is a total of 7.5% damage and accuracy with the full set. The caveat, like I mentioned in the previous sentence, is that this only applies to the Inquisitor's Mace. As I've said in the past, this is okay if they're simply trying to buff the mace, but at the end of the day, it's not really much. The reality of it? This gives an additional two max hits with current max gear. A Jagex quote from the Project Rebalance Part 3, This change should make the mace feel like a worthwhile stepping stone between the Abyssal Bludgeon and the Scythe of Viter, adding more utility to a rarely seen set. So, in Part 2 of the Project Rebalance, they provided a DPS calculator, and I put Fasani's Nightmare in the boss area. We have the Abyssal Bludgeon set up, the Inquisitor's Mace set up, and the scythe setup. All of these are on the correct styles, and they all have super combat potions. The correct gear, as I just went over, they all have piety enabled. And as you can see from the time to kill graph down here, that the mace slots in nicely between the bludgeon and the scythe. So what's wrong with this? Well, uh, really nothing. I mean, I guess they're achieving their goal, but the whole point of this video is not really to discuss the mace. It's to discuss the armor. So what issues are we facing with the Inquisitor's armor? Well, currently the armor has pretty much next to no uses. The armor is only really used at Nightmare, and even so, most people will likely use Torva instead. Even with the current buffs, the armor will still most likely only be used at Nightmare. And since that is a boss that people aren't really interested in killing right now, that doesn't really add much to the value. And the next issue is that of the economy, because people who've already invested into this set of armor will feel bad to lose the GP value. Well, if we take a look at the actual Inquisitor's armor set, you'll see that over time, this has already been happening, where in the past, it's been at highs of 200 mil, and at a low point recently of 160, 140 at the lowest point you see here. My argument is that it's already lost its value. And of course, we're seeing these lows now because the armor set is effectively useless. And if I'm honest, we've sort of reached a point of stagnation with the armor set. Looking at this past year, it's pretty much been in this range of 140 to 200 mil. I also hear the argument of devaluing achievements. I see this point and some people may feel put off by this, achieving the armor or the mace or other things from Nightmare, receiving these extremely rare items and now they're buffing them after all this time. Personally, I feel that the health of the game should come first, and while it would feel like ripping off a band-aid to some in the short term, I feel it would more greatly benefit the game in the long run. Now I'd pose a question, would it not make more sense to make the armor set more useful so that achieving the armor with the worst drop rates felt more rewarding? Think of it as the trade-off of buffing it now. At the current moment, the Inquisitor's armor set has the same strength bonuses as Bandos armor, and I believe it was originally intended to be more of a glass cannon high crush DPS set. I believe that Jagex wanted to carve out a new PKing niche with 30 defense accounts. And please remember that Inquisitors was released at a time where Bandos was still best in the slot. Torva did not exist at this time. When Torva was released, this set was ultimately no longer needed. Hence, it's fallen to the state it's at right now. If we look at Bandos, it's more universal and it's cheaper than the Inquisitor's armor set here. And that's even if you account for the cost of a net is not face guard as well. So now we come to the part of the video where I have suggestions. Now I wanna put out a disclaimer that the numbers that I used are most likely rough and or incorrect in places. I've done my best, all right? It's early. And of course you can use all or simply a few of these suggestions. At the top of the list, you'd imagine something like 
adding more crush bosses? Well, it really depends on the size of the boss, because in most cases, or all cases, the scythe would still be better. Like I mentioned, the size of the boss, it might limit design choices, and still doesn't ensure that Inquisitors is the go-to. And remember, this isn't about making Inquisitors better than Torva, this is about giving Inquisitors a place in the game, more so than it has right now. My next suggestion is to adjust the current change suggestion from just the Inquisitor's Mace to all one-handed crush option weapons. So this keeps the Scythe's crush option away from being buffed by the armor, still achieving the buff of the Inquisitor's Mace, but as it applies to all one-handed weapons now, this will include the Dragon Warhammer, of which its special attack would gain around 3 max hits, according to my preliminary calculations. So a max hit of 69 would go to 72. I'm not a peak hair, but if you are, let me know how much of a difference this makes in the comments down below. Now, of course, there are other one-handed weapons to address, but I think I will leave it at that for now. Up next is a shorter point, but very simply removing the negative melee attack bonuses. Now, on an armor set like this, already having the positive crush bonuses already encourage people to use the correct style. In this case, it's Crush. It seems pointless to punish people using this armor with different combat styles, as they're already not benefiting from the armor's accuracies. You know, if they're using Stab or Slash instead of Crush. And lastly, you shouldn't be penalized for using melee with melee armor. So previously I mentioned that this armor set was more intended to be a glass cannon high DPS approach. And I feel like in recent endgame PVM, this really doesn't work. You know, now that we've seen Torva in action. For example, even when Inquisitors was used for CMs, players would still swap to their Armadale armor, at the time, for the higher defense bonuses. On that point, perhaps it's time to raise the defense bonuses, and by proxy the defense level, of Inquisitor's armor to that of Bandos. This would supplant Inquisitors as a side grade to Bandos while being a direct upgrade for Crush. However, with this, there's a catch. You have to consider 30 defense accounts, all of them that fall under that umbrella, looking at PKing accounts, iron accounts, and unique accounts, so as to not change the status quo. So in this instance, perhaps allowing the armor's defense to be upgraded with a new item drop is the best way to go about this. Look at upgrading Mazori armor with Armadil. Though it's not an exact comparison, as upgrading up Mazori with Armadil is to keep the progression line straight, this example is used to demonstrate the fact that the armor could be upgraded with an item. However, there are both pros and cons to this. We now have another upgrade scape gear chase, which may not be the most riveting for players, but alternatively, this upgrade item could drop from a new boss a new item for the reward landscape. It will most certainly not come from Nightmare, as Nightmare's unique drop table is already overcrowded. I feel that upgrade pieces for Inquisitors is the best way to go about this, as it considers both accounts that want to remain 30 defense, as well as providing a use for main accounts. Should all of these suggestions be taken into account, with zero negative melee attack bonuses, additional prayer bonus, and crush accuracy, the upgraded Inquisitors would technically be better than Bandos. I feel this places Inquisitors at a good spot as it is more expensive than Bandos, and even more so with however these upgrade items would be implemented into the game. And yet, Iron Accounts will still need to farm Bandos for the items required if they want to get Torva at endgame. For main accounts, upgraded Inquisitors will become a cheaper Torva, perhaps allowing them a little upgrade before achieving that endgame Torva armor. And for PKers, the 30 defense accounts will continue to be able to use Inquisitors, while the upgraded set may make for some more interesting fights at the high level. However, this isn't my area of expertise, so if any PKers are watching, please leave a comment down below with your thoughts. And at this current moment, that is my thoughts on the Inquisitor's armor. Let us move on to the normal nightmare. Oh, the normal nightmare, how it needs quality of life. At the top, we have no damage through correct prayers. This was previously pulled and failed due to being asked as a combination question with randomizing phases. In my opinion, 
These should have been two separate questions, and I do believe that no damage through prayers would have passed. A player should always max hit with Crush on Parasites, assuming they've drank a Sims Bomb or Sanfu Serum to weaken the Parasite. Players should have a Scaling with Team Size minimum hit on Husks, or an outright max hit with Crush, whatever's easier to implement. Are you getting where I'm going with this? It's sort of like some of these already exist on Fasani's quality of life. Wow. <laughs> Allow waking the nightmare early to skip the respawn timer. So after killing the nightmare, when you wake it again, the animation will begin immediately instead of counting down from 10. This just allows for streamlined kills. And last but not least, allow the boss's HP and stats to scale down to three players instead of five. This will speed up the fight in smaller team sizes to match that of bigger teams, but I'm not necessarily particular about this point, more so than the others. Of course, this is all just my personal opinion. And last but not least, we have Fasani's Nightmare. And personally, I think this boss is perfect. I like these long gauntlets of challenging battles. However, my sentiments are not particularly shared with every player, meaning that other players prefer shorter boss fights. Jagex currently logs this boss at 6.5 kills an hour, and with the new rates would mean a unique roll every 18 hours. The only change that I've heard really recommended in the past is that phase one should be removed shortening the fight by around two minutes, according to Jagex's metric. This would include both the phase one boss and phase one totems. And with the new rates and shortening of the fight, this drops the estimated kill time from nine minutes, 23 seconds to seven minutes, 23 seconds, meaning we'd now get 8.2 kills per hour instead of the 6.5. And at the end of the day, this would give us a unique roll every 14.2 hours on average instead of 18. So in attempts to keep this video short, I hope you all have enjoyed listening to me ramble on. Please comment down below what you think, what you agree with, what you disagree with, and why. With all of these proposed changes, are you now more inclined to do Nightmare? What about with only some of these proposed changes? Please comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, maybe you found this account that I'm on interesting. You can check out the Inquisitor videos to the top right up here in the cards. I look forward to reading your comments and the discussion down below. A big thank you to the channel members who support this channel. You guys are the greatest, and I will see you all in the next one.